Our time is 915. Well, his character Jake Taylor is a fan favorite on the hit show The Shy and Michael Epps can be seen reprising his starring role in season four of Showtime's critically acclaimed series. But that's not all the talented actor has been working on. Michael joins us live with more on the show. His music, what's next for him, all the good stuff. We're going to get to catch up with you. It's so good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so let's get right to it. I mean, four seasons, so there's been a lot going on. What do we find Jake Taylor getting into in season four, Michael? Well, this season, Jake challenges a lot of emotions uh, with his friendship and now his new relationship. As you see this, as you see this season, Jake Taylor, he and his best friend Kevin, they kind of get into it because Jake kind of did he kind of backstabbed Kevin in a way. He kind of, you know, like took his girlfriend. So, you know, that right there, is a lot on, that's a lot of emotion on Jake himself because, you know, like that's his best friend. You know, he also cares about him, but now he also cares about this girl. So it's like, you know, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And, um, you know, as, I can't say too much, but as the season goes on and new episodes come up, you get to see the other emotions that also come that overwhelm Jake. Seems like that's kind of the theme of, of where we've seen Jake so many times. You mentioned, you know, being between a rock and a hard place, but it's like, you know, trying to do the right thing, but then it's like life gets yeah. in the way. <laughs> so it's kind of a yeah. theme when it when it comes to him. I got to ask you this, though. I mean, the show so incredibly, uh, incredibly popular. A lot of people watch it. It's doing really well. I mean, why do you think it resonates with with viewers the way that it does? Um, I feel like it does that because the show is real, you know, Nothing in our show is fake. We talk about real stuff. We also speak on situations that doesn't really get a lot of light shine on it. Like this season, well, not this, season, but last season we spoke on um, human sex trafficking, you know, and this season we speak on police brutality. I mean, I noticed some stuff that does get talked about, but not as much as it should be. And I feel like that's why our show is like, it gets that many viewers. Yeah, you're right. It's real. I mean, I don't think anyone can can argue otherwise when it comes to that. But, you know, one of the really cool things about this, too, about this project is that you get to work alongside some some really heavy hitters when it comes to uh, to actors and actresses. Yeah. So have you been able to learn from them through this experience? And if so, I mean, what are, what are some of the things that you picked up on? Of course, I've I've learned from everybody since day one. You know, it's like it's like it's not really some stuff they did talk they like pulled me aside you know they gave me life advice but just more so of like i just picked it up on my own like just being on set with other actors and watching them act and like feeding off their energy you know like i just took notes down and it helped me you know it, it, it helped me with my craft you know it helped mm -hmm. become a better actor on the job training it doesn't get much better than that <laughs> it really doesn't <laughs> i mean you've got some incredible people to learn from too but i want to switch yeah. gears for just a second michael and talk about your music fill us in on on mm -hmm. what's going on with that oh uh, well I, right now i currently have one single out mm -hmm. um music was like something it wasn't something we really planned on taking far you know it was just something we wanted to try um that single actually that was like that was kind of like something we played with, you know, but we actually took it seriously and we made it a real song. We dropped it. Uh, I know people have been asking me, how, like, do I plan on dropping any other music? Um, yeah, we have, I am. Um, I'm planning on getting back in the studio real soon to drop some more stuff. So I don't imagine you have tons of free time, but it's cool that you're finding <laughs> something to do, you know, that you love to, to kind of fill in that, that free time. And I want to ask you one more thing before yeah. we're, out of, we're out of time. What about your future goals? I have a feeling it includes more music and more acting. Am I right? Yeah, it also includes my now clothing line. We got, um, I wish I had a hoodie out. I, we really, you know, it's summertime, so this is like the only <laughs> hoodie I got out right now. But Crown Me, y'all can go follow that on Instagram at crownme.clothing. We, um, we're getting that off the ground. Nice. Um, make sure y'all go buy some merch. Um, we plan on working on a book, too. That's That'll probably be out by the end of this, by the end of this year or beginning of next year. Oh my goodness! So a book, a clothing line, a single, yeah. an acting career. Yeah. It sounds like you got it going on, Michael. Thank you so yeah. much for hanging with us today. We wish you the best, and hopefully we can have you back on Good Day for you to update us on how all these ventures are going in the future. So thank you for having me. <laughs> and you can catch new episodes of The Shy Sundays on Showtime.